Well, hello everyone. So here I have a new little toy that I wanted to do an unboxing with you for. So I, uh, I wouldn't say splurged. I had been saving up a little bit to buy one of these and this is going to help me in a couple ways. So um, it'll help me in my planning, of course, so I can add some pictures, kind of add a little bit of memory planning in my planners, but it'll also help me with my scrapbooking. If you hadn't, if you hadn't heard in any of my other videos, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but I have been scrapbooking, um, one scrapbook for each of my kids for now anyway, um, to kind of preserve some of the memories as they're getting a little older I want to make sure that we don't forget anything so this will help me um, get some of the more difficult photos I guess to print plus especially now with social distancing and shopping being so difficult it's hard to get photos printed it it's doable but it's very difficult it takes longer um, and sometimes I'm a little impatient. So what I wanted to do with you today is do an unboxing and then we're going to try this out together and then do a little review and see how it goes. All right. So let's open this up. So this is the HP Sprocket. I did buy it on Amazon and it was reasonably priced. I was actually surprised. And it comes in this cute little box that's so cute. So when you open it, ta -da! so I got this lavender, it's like a lavender with a little bit of, um, oh, what do you call it? Does it say on the cover? Mm, doesn't say, I'm going to call it sprinkle. That's what I'm going to call it. Sprinkle. So it's a lavender with like this sprinkle on it. So like a splatter. I think it looks super cute. I didn't want to get a white one or a black one. Everything we get is white or black or silver. So I wanted to get something with a different little color. It has a little tab here that says HP. I don't know if that serves a purpose, but I guess we'll find out. It is covered in um, some sort of very thin plastic, I guess, to protect it during shipping. So we'll take that off in a minute. It's quite small. If you see the size of my hand, it fits inside the palm of my hand. So it's not big. It's not very thick. So that's very portable. So I'm super excited about that. It does come with a lavender charging cable, so it is a USB and it plugs in. So, and I love that it comes with this little tie so that you can wrap it up and tie it. I hate when cables are all over the place. Um, and then you have an installation guide, which I will be going through to figure out. And then it comes with your first pack of photo paper, it is zinc zero ink photo paper and they are sticky back so they are um you peel the back and they do stick just like a sticker so they are two by three so they're if i fold this they're, they're little tiny tiny pictures but they're cute and you can either i would assume i'm i'm just assuming but i'm what i'm hoping is you can print either a two by three or maybe you can print two smaller ones fit side by side and then just cut them in the middle and have little mini pictures that might fit in your monthly or something so I'm hoping we'll see so you get 10 little um photo sheets sticker photo sheets with your sprocket purchase so I will leave this here for now and I'm gonna go through this and figure out how to install it and then we'll come back and see if we can play with it all right i'll be right back okay so while my um the app is downloading on my phone right here see downloading uh so while it's downloading what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow the rest of the instructions so uh while it's downloading it says to load the paper so i guess what i have to do now is take this plastic off it's very well wrapped some it's very good all right just to figure out i'm trying not to rip it but i do i do want to take this off all right oh here we go okay so it's like little flaps or something 
Alright, so we have little flap one undone, little flap two undone, and can we just slide this out? Nope. It is glued down, so I guess I have to tear it. Oh, I didn't want to. What if I use my little scissors? I don't want to put any dents or nicks on this thing. It's brand new. All right, just put a little, there we go. Pull that right off. Okay, here we go. Plastic is off. And so cute. How tiny. Okay. Um, so there is a way to open this. Oh, it just, oh, it just opens. Look at that. It's like a, oh, it's magnetic. Little magnets so it stays on. Nice, I like that. Okay, so it does say to add the paper. It does have a spring loaded here. I don't want to play with it too much to break it. Um, but it does say to add the paper. So I'm going to go ahead and open this package. gentle. I don't want to ruin this. Okay. So, and it says load the blue card for best print quality. So must load facing down. So if I do this and I load the blue card facing down. Okay. And then just do that. Now it does have a power button. Does it have any power at all? Nope, I don't think it does. So I might have to charge it. Oh, it comes right off. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to charge it again. I will be back. All right, everyone. So um, I plugged in the sprocket and it did something off camera unfortunately it spit out the blue card so it just um i guess it scanned it and then it came out so that's the only thing you've missed so far the app has finished downloading i am still charging my phone so i apologize for the cable however I, the app has downloaded so now let's see what we can do with it so we'll set up my printer get started um, let's do that. Okay. And, oh, select your sprocket. I just got a sprocket, just a normal one. Charge and power on. All right, let's see if I can get this. Hold on. Okay, so it is powered on. The light is on. So I did charge it a little bit. So let's see how we go from here. Uh, hold the power button until the LED turns white. It's white-ish, I guess. Should I hold it? Mm, let's just see. Okay. Load paper. Paper is loaded. And the blue card already came down. Get connected. Make sure your Bluetooth is active. Bluetooth. H. Aha. See H. Pre. Sprocket. Pairing. Look, it's pairing. See, flashing red. Pair with sprocket. Yes. And it's done. So now we've paired with the sprocket. Yes. It's an HP Sprocket 200, apparently. I didn't know. It doesn't say that on the box. All right, so here, now I saw this in another video, which is pretty cool. I'll show you. It says, set your status LED color. So this flashing light here, you can change the color, which is pretty cool. Now, um, 
I don't really have a favorite color. So right now it's flashing red. We have a teal, blue, purple, pink, lime green, and green. So I think because I got the lavender, I'm going to go with purple and see how that goes. Your devices are paired. Maybe it's flashing red because it still needs to charge. Hmm. I wonder. Well, we'll see. Okay, so now I'm going to look quickly for a photo. All right, so this is a photo I had picked. Um, a photo of my daughter. So we'll see what happens. So I'm going to click print before the battery on the sprocket dies. Print. Connecting the sprocket. Low battery charger sprocket soon to continue printing. See, look, it's flashing purple. Can you see that? It's purple. I guess it's thinking. Oh, something's happening. This is exciting. Let's see what happens. Oh, look. You see that? How cute is that? And like it just comes right out. Look at that. How cute. It's actually pretty good quality. I mean, it's not like professional quality or anything, but that's pretty good quality. I mean, for memory keeping, I think that's pretty good. And you compare the two. I'm trying to do this without a glare. It's not bad at all. I'm impressed. That is cute. Now I know there are a lot of functions that we can do and I don't know if I have enough charge on this thing to go through all of them. Uh, let's see. We'll go back, see if I can choose another photo. There was one of my two girls together. I have three kids all together just in case you're wondering. But there was one of my two girls together that I thought would make for a cute photo. And of course, it's probably buried at... There it is. So, this cute photo. Alright. Um, now, edit. Edit your photo. There's a little pencil at the top so I can edit my photo. Downloading stickers and frames. It's downloading. So, I can... Look, I can add little things. Oh, I like it. Flowers. Oh, it's thinking. Maybe that's what's still downloading. Uh, what's that? Oh, that's to change the color. So you can make it black and white, sepia, change the colors. Well, that's cool. You can add a border, so they have different borders. Of course, my phone is thinking. I have a really bad reception in the basement. I'm, I film in the basement, and I have horrible reception. Oh, you can add text. You can add text to your image. I'm gonna go back to the stickers. I know there were the flowers before. Come on, stop thinking and just find the stickers. Okay, it's still thinking, so I'm probably not going to be able to play with the stickers, but you were able to see some of it anyways. There's some frames. Oh, see? I don't know if you can see that. The stars it added on the side um, adds a white border, a teal border, and of course the rest is thinking, no border. And then, will it give me any of the stickers? Let me dismiss... Okay, none of the stickers. So let's just print this one and see how this one looks. Alright. Come on and print. And it says connecting. Did I have enough charge? I probably didn't watch it have died on my way to get this printed. I think it died. Oh. Your photo will now print, it says. It's not flashing. There's no light. It's 
not doing anything. Hold on. All right, guys. So I've think I've gotten the stickers now. So I went back to this image, and the sprocket is still charging a little bit. So I went to the little pencil in the corner to edit the photo. And then you have all the options here, but I was really interested in the stickers. So see the stickers? So many options of things. You can add flowers, little animals, party hats, and it's still downloading, which is why you see the spinning wheels. You got little like hats and crowns and glasses. So many little things, little unicorns and other animals, banners, so many things you can add. So I'm going to go ahead and add some of these. Now, when you add it, it just goes in the center. It's pretty big. So you can just use your fingers to turn it how you want. So I'm going to put it in the corner there. And then do that and then I'm gonna add one more in this corner I'm gonna go with a flower mm, let's see I like this one and I'm gonna twirl that around let's see this way just cut it off a little bit there we go all right so now I have that so now I'm gonna go get my sprocket and we'll see what it looks like printed okay so I'm back, the light is purple, so hopefully I have enough charge. So I have my photo that I had added my stickers. I'm gonna click on the check mark, and I'm going to do, it says one copy, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit the print button. And I think it's gonna print the old one that I had printed, the one without the stickers. And then, so it might print too, but that's okay. We'll see how it comes out. All right, so one of them's coming out now. And I still have this one over here. I haven't done anything with it yet. All right. And here's the first one. This one is the one without the stickers because I had already hit print, just this ran out of power. So not bad. That's pretty cute. Good print quality. Now remember, this does not have any ink inside. There's absolutely no ink, no tone or nothing. And it just prints using um, a zinc, some sort of photo, um, I don't even know, to be honest. It uses light. <laughs> That's all I know, I think. So, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good quality. So those are my cute daughters. The best friends. They're about two years apart, so. All right, and then we'll see what the one with the stickers looks like. And see what difference that makes. And this would be great if you want to give these little photos for, like, wallets. It's perfect size, so I think it's awesome. Oh, look, you can see the flower. How cute is that? Look at the little hearts. And there you go. Look at how cute that is. I love it. So that will be absolutely perfect for memory keeping, for scrapbooking, for anything. So while we're there, I'm going to use these two here. I'll save this one, probably give it to my husband. Um, see, it's dying already. I didn't want to wait forever. I was so excited to try it. That's why I would just charge it enough just to be able to print something. So I'm going to get my life planner. And using these two, I'm going to go ahead and on this dashboard page which is in the back of the tabbed page i'm going to use this kind of as of um wow learn to speak i'm going to use this as kind of a memory keeping page so because i got my sprocket this month i'm going to add these two photos and then eventually i'll add a title and maybe do a bit of journaling so for this i'm probably just going to cut off the top and the bottom just so that it looks a little more finished. 
You don't really have to do that. It depends on the photo, I guess. The photo I got, um, it had the white border. I think it was an Instagram post. That's probably why. So that's fine. It's still, you still get a cute picture. So this little girl here is this older one here. So you can see how much she's grown already. This was her first ballet recital. All right, so now on the back it just says HP Zinc. So you should be able to just peel off the backing. It's a little, I don't, I'm trying not to ruin the photo, which is why I'm being a little bit extra careful. All right, grab a hold of that. And so you peel it off peels off like a sticker and I'm just going to put this one right here oh, it's so cute now it does stick really well like this is I don't think this is coming up I don't want to try because I don't want to ruin the photo so but I'm pretty sure this is pretty sticky so I'm gonna add this one now and then I will have this in my planner forever that this is the month I got my sprocket and the month I can now add little memories of my babies in my planner. How cute is that? How cute is that, guys? Look at how cute that is. All right. So now I've made a mess all over my desk, but that's okay. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you today. I am super impressed with the sprocket. I have to say I would recommend this to anyone who's interested in um, making printing little photos like this. I love that it has a sticker option. Um, sticker meaning adding designs to your photos. But also that it's a sticker paper so you can stick it down wherever you want. And you really don't have to stick it down either if you don't want to. And this is so portable. I mean all you need is a good charge on it. Which... I'm going to have to charge it because it's flashing red. So all you need is a good charge on it. It's so portable and you can use your phone and print your pictures anywhere and everywhere. So if you are, you know, in another city visiting family or something and you take a gorgeous photo and you want to share it with them, you can always print a copy right away and give it to them right away. No more having to send the digital file and then they have to print or you print it and then mail it. You can just do it right away. So I'm super excited about this. And I do love that this case is magnetic. So I don't have to worry about any like clicking and stuff. I do, however, recommend that you are very careful with the spring loaded here. Um, because that's what drags the paper through the machine. So I would be very gentle. But... Other than that, I think it's absolutely amazing. It's it's light, it's not very heavy, and super portable. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you don't already have one, I recommend that you get one. I think it's definitely worth the money. The paper is a little bit on the expensive side. I just bought a pack of 50. So uh, 50 of these zinc papers. And I think on Amazon, so I'm on Amazon Canada since I'm in Canada. Um, so in Canada, it was, I want to say about $27. So $27 for 50 papers. Now, the next thing I want to do is see if I can do two photos that I can just cut in half. And then I could maybe maximize my paper usage that way as well. So, but that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed um, remember to like and subscribe if you are new and click that notification bell down at the bottom so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Um, please note the opinions given in this video are my own. This was not a paid um, video. This was not sponsored in any way. This is just a purchase that I wanted to make for myself and I wanted to share with you on what my opinion and review of it is. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye.